Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I will be telling you guys how I got this hair, how I became blonde. I have gotten a lot of questions how I have, like, was it easy, does your scalp hurt? I'm going to tell you guys through the whole entire process, and I'm going to have pictures. It took, okay, so I'm just going to start at the first beginning. The reason why I dyed my hair blonde. In 2014, on New Year's, my New Year's resolution was don't dye my hair for a full year. And then, when 2015 comes, I dye it blonde. If that fails, I dye it blue. Well, on Janu in January of 2015, I went to a hair salon. I did get it done by a salon. So, I didn't do it by myself. I didn't trust my hair because my hair, after growing it out for so long, it was brown here and my ends were black. Because in 2013, when I last dyed my hair, I dyed it jet black. Through 2014 to 2015, my hair grew out to about my shoulders. That's how fast my hair grew. That's how long it took for my hair to grow, to get the black out. I did go for trims. I didn't have my hair go dead. I just kept trimming it. And when 2015 came, I decided to stick with my resolution and go blonde. Well, the first time, that didn't happen. It first, Okay, it took about three times. Ends, like about the tips of my hair, is different. As you can see, it's a little darker. Um, and I didn't want to go through the process of cutting my hair into a very short cut. Because I don't like short haircuts on me. I haven't had my hair short forever. My hair, I've been growing out since I was about 14 years old. Probably earlier than that, but I'm just going to go with 14. What happened, the first time they dyed my hair, they, she, my hairdresser, she said, well, we're going to dye it and see how that goes because she knew that maybe that's not how it went, but... <laughs> But she's like, she said, because she did tell me the black hair probably is not going to change identical to my brown hair, my natural color. If my hair was all natural brown, it probably would have turned the same color. But since I had black in my hair, that is what happened. So we went through the process. I did post pictures on Twitter and my Instagram. So if you guys want to check that out of that process, I'm also going to be posting pictures in this video right now. This is what happened. This is before. And this is after. Now, as you can tell, it is about a ginger, uh, ginger color. It's about... Um, how do you say? Just ginger. It's a ginger color. And I didn't like it. And I knew, I was like, I'm going to come back. Because she, did, my hairdresser did tell me, come back in three weeks and I will dye it again. She'll bleach it again. To my roots, that is where she bleached it. This was all highlights. And whatever, it's the same thing. Um... So when I came, I went back the three weeks, well, she did say first thing she said was, wow, your hair grew really quick. I said, Neh. yeah, it kind of did because it did. Um, but then what she did was she bleached the whole thing. Ends did not take it at all. It didn't even change. So here's a picture anyway. So, it did get lighter a little bit because 
this this did get lighter because I wanted it a little lighter but my ends were not really that much I went back the third time and that was about two weeks ago and uh, she said, do you want to try and bleach your ends again? Do you want me to try and lighten the color up? And I said, well, yeah, because I don't want this orange color in my hair. Like, I already get enough questions if I wear extensions. I want it to all look one color. It didn't happen. She tried and tried. She didn't want to kill my hair either. So I'm really happy about that. My hair is still healthy. I find it extremely healthy, but my ends, as you can tell, did not even move. I think they may have lightened up a bit since then, but the third time it just didn't work. And she, we just, then after she just toned it all, and that's, this is the end result. I love my hair right now. I don't, I've gotten over the fact that this ain't gonna change because I'm in trimming as my hair goes along. I will, I did go for the fact that I maybe wanted to dye my ends a different color so the orange wouldn't be through. But then I had to think, will my job let me? And I didn't want to take that risk. I just kept it and if I want I can just throw it in a bun or I can put it in braids and you can't really tell so sorry um yeah so through the whole entire thing it was a very good process like she didn't kill my hair the blonde oh and also um maybe it's because my scalp ain't that bad but when you go through um, the bleaching to uh, get this color. Your scalp may be different than mine, but I didn't feel a thing. I might have felt it a little, but it went away. But I didn't have any problem with it. So when I, the bleach did not hurt my head or my scalp and it didn't break my hair. So that is a great thing. But I do wish my hair grew a little longer. But at the end of the day, I love my hair. I love it. And a lot of people say it's too light for my skin. But I did have blonde hair before. I don't think I ever made a video on it. I did have blonde hair in 2013. So that's about two years ago. I had platinum blonde hair. Platinum platinum and everybody loved it this is just darker this is like like platinum blonde is platinum and my black platinum blonde hair was starting to turn white because every time I dyed it it went whiter and whiter and whiter um so yeah, so yeah, that's like mostly it. Like my, I, my experience with bleach and all that, it's okay. Like, I didn't have a problem with it. Uh, am I forgetting anything? Um, and about, and every single time I go to get my roots done, I don't really have to go get my roots done yet because I just got them done about two weeks ago, two, three, something like that. Um. I will probably go back in about a couple, maybe two months, maybe a month, if, probably two or three, if, how fast my roots do grow. So, yeah. If you guys like my, if you guys want me to t answer any of your questions, you can tweet me at Caitlin D. Rocks, at Caitlin D. Rocks. Or, if you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments and I will be happy to answer them.
when I get the time. I'm mostly on my phone 24-7 anyway, so as soon as you get them, I will, as soon as you write them, I will respond to them. And if I don't respond to them right away, it's because I'm probably sleeping or I'm at work. So, yeah. But if there's any more questions that you guys have, you can comment down or tweet me. You guys should follow me too. If you guys find my Twitter, give me a follow. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Um, even if you hated it, give it a like. <laughs> so, like, yeah, give a like, comment down below, or you can subscribe in that little box if you guys want to. But, uh, I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys later.